Mumbai, a city that is known for its iconic skyscrapers, structures and coastal surrounding, was known for their invisibility for the past three months. These structures were invisible to the naked eye and one had to really squinch one's eyes to spot the skyline of the city. With the changing climate, the natural cleanser of the city, the Arabian Sea, could not sweep away the city's pollution, making it worse than what is known as the pollution capital of the country, Delhi. The data shows that between January to February, Mumbai was the second most polluted city in the world, whereas Delhi wasn't included even in the top five. The persistent exposure to poor air quality left Mumbai cursed sneezing, coughing and complaining about breathing problems. From December 1, 2022 to March 15, 2023, Mumbai recorded 59 days of poor air quality, 35 days of unhealthy air quality, 5 days of moderate air quality and not even a single day of good air quality. According to MPCB, from December 1, 2022 to March 15, 2023, Kurla had the worst air quality with an average of 252.14 on AQI index, followed by Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj International Airport premises with an average AQI of 227. This was followed by Sayan, Vileparle, Kandivali, Mulund, Wardli and Pawai. What is the reason behind the deteriorating air quality? We talked to Gufran Beg founder director of Safar and asked him the possible reasons for it. Lalina is a terminology that is not the normally in the past 9 or 12 months, but it is going to be done. But in the past 3 years, consistently unusual. This century is the first Lalina that is going to continue for 3 years. And what is the reason for that? Because the air is very high, which is very high, which is related to the monsoon, and the rest of the stagnation conditions, there are many storms or dust storms, all of them have a lot of connectivity. So, the air is very important to play in this area. The air has come into the disturbance, इस तीन साल के लानिना के चलते और उसके कारण में क्या हो गया कि स्टेग्नेशन कंडीशंस जो हैं नॉर्मली जो मुंबई नेचुरली प्रोटेक्टेड रहता है जहां पर कि हवा समुद्र की तरफ से हवा आती है वो रिसेट बटन दबा देता है वो एकदम और हवाएं नॉर्मली ज्यादा तेज रहती हैं लेकिन इन दोनों जो हैं हवाएं बहुत रिलेटिवली कम हो गई और उसके कारण क्या हो गया कि मुंबई के अंदर स्टेग्नेशन कंडीशन हो गई जो पोल्यूशन जो इमिशन जो भी स्रोत है उनमें जो निकलता था पहले बेजाया करता था और महसूस नहीं होता था वो महसूस होने लगा है the particulate matter 2.5 and 10 concentrations went up by 44 and 46 percent respectively, which added to the changing climate situations. अभी क्या हो रहा है कि बहुत सारी कंस्ट्रक्शन एक्टिविटीज चल रही हैं और रैंपेंट हमारे जो लॉकडाउन हुआ था उसके बाद में सारी डेवलपमेंट एक्टिविटी जो कि पेंडिंग थी वगैरह वो भी शायद चल रही हैं और दूसरा कि जो है मेट्रो का प्रोजेक्ट है कोस्टल प्रोजेक्ट है उसके अंदर से बहुत और मेरे ख्याल से इसके अंदर जो प्रोटोकॉल्स हैं वो फॉलो नहीं किए जा रहे हैं इम्प्लीमेंटेशन प्रॉपरली नहीं हो रहा है उसके कारण क्या हो रहा है कि हवा के अंदर धूल के कारण बहुत हो गए और उस कारण बहुत पीएम 2.5, पीएम 10 दोनों बढ़ गया है और अब स्टेग्नेशन कंडीशन है तो वो रुक रहा है। No matter what the reasons are, Mumbaiers have to face the brunt of it and breathe such poor air, which results in several health issues, especially among the elderly and children. There has been a significant increase in respiratory infections all throughout uh, the city of Mumbai as well as pan India. Uh, now uh, we are seeing a lot of individuals who present with fever, cough, cold and that cough tends to persist. Typically patients who are more prone to this are children as well as the elderly who have had traditionally underlying asthma and the COPD. But what we are seeing off late is also a lot of young healthy individuals who keep presenting with persistent cough because of persistent exposure to pollution. <laughs> कचरा सब इसमें बॉडी में जाता है उसके वजह से थकान हो जाती है दो सेकंड अगर आप चलोगे और उठ से तो आपको एकदम आपके लंग्सों में प्रॉब्लम होएगा छोटे छोटे बच्चों को प्रॉब्लम हो रहा है सांस लेने में दिक्कत हो रही है यू स्वेट क्वाइट अ बिट एंड इवन योर योर गेटिंग अ माइल्ड हेडेक एंड नेजल ब्लॉकेज मींस सर्टेन अमाउंट ऑफ सिकनेस हेल्थ का बहुत इशू हो रहा है अस्थमा वाले को बहुत तकलीफ होती है अपार्ट फ्रॉम द रेस्पिरेटरी एंड ब्रीथिंग प्रॉब्लम्स there are also some unusual problems that are erupting due to the poor air quality.
we also see individuals who presenting with gastrointestinal side effects uh, persistent loose motions diarrhea we also had a marginal increase in the incidence of cardiac events uh, so these are things that are coming and in fact we also seeing a few subset of patients who report of significant tiredness and lethargy there is no specific reason which is caused this but in general they just feel tired and uh, lethargic more so because of uh, the pollution that they are exposed to ideally government authorities should definitely step in specifically when air qualities are poor so the government should issue health mandates the need for wearing masks the need of maintaining social distances you know sanitizing your hands avoid frequent touching of eyes and knows something similar to what they had issued at the time of the covid pandemic so these are things that the government should proactively come out but that that's as far as patient prevention is concerned people prevention is concerned they should also look at steps to controlling this pollution i mean why in india are we facing this much of pollution when the rest of the world is not as citizens continued their demands for cleaner air The BMC as a part of its rupees 52690 crore budget for the financial year 2023-24 announced a seven step policy for mitigating air pollution in the city. The BMC has also formed a seven member committee and has asked them to submit a report within a week ahead of the G20 meeting that is happening in the city at March end. Chief Minister Eknath Shinde has also instructed the BMC to set up air purifier towers in the city. Are the anti smoke towers or the seven member committee enough though to purify the air that has been deteriorating for the past 3 to 4 months? It's a really welcome step that uh, the Mr. Chahal has uh, set up the seven members committee, which will definitely work, and and this is the great move I can say. If we see that uh, there is uh, the options of civil society representation, there is options of the representation from the citizen of Mumbai, and there is also options from the uh, representation from the expert or any body like CREDI or MCCI. or the developer association and also architect association why not they also get representation in this smoke tower or we can say let us say anti smoke tower it's a not realistic solution even scientists the bodies and the academicians are saying that this is completely unscientific and absurd solution it is not going to solve the problem the air quality has been in atmosphere has been disturbed the entire the sphere and the where we are been installing the towers which is like very minuscule in the nature compared to the the scale of air pollution problem is in the city the battle against air pollution is undoubtedly a long and difficult one but there are certain steps that need to be taken in order to improve the air quality these include sprinkling waters on roads time to time covering the construction sites with green curtains increasing the green cover of the city and regularizing traffic movements the bmc also needs to make sure that they are issuing health updates time to time to save the lives of 20 million mumbaikers subscribe to midday india get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon